In uh, 2005, I was in a motorcycle accident. Um, I lost my left leg, uh, cracked my pelvis, and uh, did a scaphoid break in my uh, right wrist. Um, left me in uh, three different hospitals. They told me that they installed the filter uh, for precautionary, you know, for blood clots. And actually filters, it's not unusual to see a lot of these filters placed in trauma patients because trauma patients are at high risk of developing those clots on the legs. So in his case, you know, when he's up and walking, where we know when you're up and walking and moving, the, the, the risk of clot is much, much less. So that's one of the time we remove those filters. Uh, he doesn't need it anymore because he's considered a low risk for developing it. Um, but he never was told that. And again, this is not unusual. Uh, we see it all the time. Uh, until it starts causing him problems. In late December of 2016, I started getting these really bad burning pains, um, electrical pains, and I had some tests done for gallstones, uh, ultrasound, CT scans, all that came back negative. So what happens with a filter is that a filter has legs. So those legs, sometimes they can actually protrude inside the vein and irritate some structures. The burning pain I was getting was about right here in this location on my chest. and. Uh, it actually felt like someone had a lighter inside my body and it was just heating it up and it would last for hours and sometimes even days. I mean, I'm talking like three weeks at a time. Most times we're able to take uh, those filters, especially if, if they're the temporary filters with a uh, minimum invasive approach uh, through the groin and the neck or both with just passing wires and catheters and basically taking it out and it's an outpatient procedure so most times. The filter was removed by August of 2017 and ever since then that burning pain and electrical pain has been gone. You know, once we take out the filter, sometimes I've had patients in the recovery room like um, literally and almost in tears saying, you know, I don't have that pain anymore. And so, I mean, these patients are so grateful that we were able to take it out, especially with minimum invasive means and not subject them to an open surgery. I was very confident with Dr. Pacharo. He, uh, gave me the time and day, explained everything to me very well. Honestly, any patient that has a filter should seek a second opinion if he thinks he's a candidate to, to be removed.